But now I am a genius. <laughs> you scored a goal, huh? Uh, how good is the manager? <laughs> Hello, Pep. Uh, you must be pleased to get... Oh, Simon Mullick, Sunday Mirror. You must be pleased to, to get through that game. Another tense, tight game against a, a top side. Yeah, of course. We was our not best performance comparing the other two. Uh, but today they play for n nothing to lose and we play to lose the Premier League. And after our defeat last Wednesday, it was uh, really tough the last two days. But I like it's been like this, being tough. Uh, we are starting incredible well and of course uh, the game we expected is incredible team Tottenham. And, but we are there after we suffer the season and, and part of the season and being still here with 86 points after 100 like season is one of the most remarkable things I ever lived in my career as a football player and a manager. Hi Pep, uh, Ant McGinley from Access Manchester. What's the initial on Kevin? Uh, I didn't speak with him. I didn't speak with the doctors. I think he's a muscular injury and I don't know how big is the impact. On, on his injury, and we'll see tomorrow, but I think the next game will be out. Sam. Hi, Pep. Uh, Sam Mollis from The Telegraph. Uh, just following on from that, I mean, what, what sort of shape are the team in now? Because Wednesday is such a, such a big game now. Yeah, and today, and three days ago, and six days ago in Brighton, and uh, against the other one. We are here the last two, three months, knowing that if we lose a game, we are going to lose the competition. So, ten games in a row in the Premier League, so it's not bad. So we have to make 14 to be champion and and I don't know, now it's tomorrow training after one day off because we need it, everybody and after we're going to prepare Old Trafford. Hi Pep, it's Jonathan Northcroft, Sunday Times. Um, what was your thinking in picking Phil Foden and, and what, were you, what were your thoughts on his performance? Uh, now I am a genius. <laughs> he scored a goal. Huh? Uh, how good is the manager? <laughs> And after play Delve in London, it was a disaster, huh? Yeah, that is works. Phil is a, he's an incredible talent player. Uh, but we had to handle in the right moment, and we need today we we needed this. Uh, I would say this this capacity to 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 press high. He's a guy who has the quality to arrive in the box. Uh, in Newport, he scored two goals, and every time he plays, he scored a goal or had the chances. He scored one in shoot. His ability in the smaller spaces is not easy to play against Eddie Dyer or Wainama or, uh, or Dele Ali or Eriksen. So it's an incredible experience for him. And we trust him. I trust a lot with him, that guy, a lot. And yesterday I decided he's going to play. That's all. Pep, I'm Rob Draper from the Mail on Sunday. You, you, you just said it. it this season is one of the most remarkable things you've experienced as a manager following on from the 100 points from last season. Obviously, given what you've achieved, it's, it, it's a big state, but it's really up there with the Bayern Munich, the Barcelona days. No, I don't deny how good it was in Barcelona, what we have done, and not even in Bayern Munich. So I have to live in my profession after, especially when we are started, that there is no win the four titles or the special Champions League is a big fail in my career. So on the teams I training, so I have to accept it. But honestly, so in that league when everybody can lose for everyone, you know, everyone can lose and everyone who is tough to play for the physicality. And especially after 100 points, you know, and doing every three days, arriving at the stage with the best Liverpool ever. One of the best teams, the best sides I ever played in defensively, offensively. So being still there with the problems we had, one of the best players it was not involved during the season, and the capacity every three days being there, being there, being there, that is really remarkable. That is when I appreciate the most of my, of my players. So of course we want to win it, but I will not judge, believe me, I will not judge if at the end we cannot do it because I will give a lot of credit to Liverpool, that upside what it has done, and I will not judge my team because for one inch is offside or one hand not given, my opinion about my team. You can do it because we are judged not for the intentions. So every time we lose, every time they ask me in the press conference, yeah, I'm going to change my mind the way we want to play. I want to change that. Always wait one defeat to, to judge me if oh, Pep still believes what he has done and we're going to change the way he plays. So uh, I know. So 
I know that how it works, not me and all the managers around the world. It happened with Juventus de Turin, win everything and play, lose uh, one competition and, and Massimiliano say it's not good, it's not good. Our job is crazy, really, if you think about it. A little bit is crazy. But the team again today, knowing how tough was after what happened last Wednesday, because Tottenham is going to finish top four with the four games they have, I think three at home, with a, it's, go, it's going to happen. They didn't have that pressure that we had, that we knew we are going to lose. And football and all the sports, when you have the pressure, you have to show it. And of course, we didn't make the best performance, uh, but uh, what they had done, it was, it was massive today, massive. Uh, Dan King from the Salon Sunday. Pep, I know you find uh, VAR discussions boring, but did you think you should have had at least one penalty, maybe two today? Yeah, one in one side, but don't talk me about the referees, please, today. Don't talk me about the referees, what happened in the last stages. So it was two penalties, one for our side. Yeah, and Bernardo was 2-0, and after maybe for Dele Alli it was 2-1. But don't talk me about the referees, what happened a few days ago, please. Jack. Pep, Jack Pepbrook from The Independent. Yeah. You said that you think Kevin De Bruyne has a muscle injury. Are you confident it's not another medial knee ligament injury? No, no, I, I, I didn't speak, but he put the hands in the hamstring position, and I think it was that, but really I didn't speak, I didn't see him after the game, so tomorrow we'll know, maybe the, the media, press media, going to inform what he has. Pep, I don't know if you work out your Joe Bernsey Mellon sign. I don't know if you work out your teams a long time in advance, but I was just thinking watching Foden. Has he given you a, a dilemma for selection on, on Wednesday? He played so well. Maybe. Maybe Kevin is not there. So we'll see. Uh, really, I, I, I didn't spend one second to think about Old Trafford. I need, to, uh, I need to enjoy today, I need to rest a little bit and tomorrow afternoon and after tomorrow especially I'm going to watch as much games as possible from, from United and, and we're going to prepare the game. So we play our Premier League against our neighbours and, and, and yeah, it's good, we're going to try. Hello, Pep. Aquí, por uh, normally, when you think in a league, uh, you think about 38 games. I think uh, you think more about regularity. Uh, if you lose one game, you can make it up in the future. Um, do you think now that because it, it looks like a different thing, like a survival, like like every week? Do you think that it's probably now more similar, like a knockout uh, game, like week in week out? Uh, we, 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 yeah, it's, it's different. I know it's. But we are now looks like now is the next game and the next game. But we are living that f f from you know since since lo long time. So with the rival that we have, so I'm re so uh, I'm I'm more calm on, on my perspective on my my targets are uh, I would say are more hum more easy easier. So the fact I'm I'm more than satisfied to qualify for the Champions League. So. So it's an incredible success for our club to be again six times, times in a row, seven times in a row, you know, being in, in the qualify for the Champions next season. So and 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 we know. So since we play against Brighton, against Swansea, against Brighton, and after the final against Champions League, against Tottenham, now league, when we lose a game, we are out. So we we finish 4-4 and against Tottenham we are out and, and the league still we are there. So uh, that is what I feel. And, and after the Champions League tie last, well, this, this week, you have played the first game of the, of the weekend uh, at 12.30. Do you think that the timetable has an influence? Well, for both sides. For both sides. When you play just two days and a half in London, when when Tottenham had six days, that is a, uh, yeah, that counts. But when you play the same, you know, the same distance, both teams, it counts. Maybe it could have considered for both teams play tomorrow, maybe you know, for a half. But uh, Sky, come on. <laughs>